Queen Camilla hosted some fellow royals and famous advocates for a good cause. The 75-year-old monarch invited Queen Rania of Jordan and Crown Princess Mary of Denmark to her reception on Tuesday at Buckingham Palace for the United Nations 16 Days of Activism campaign. At the reception, which was to help raise awareness of violence against women and girls, Queen Camilla also welcomed Spice Girl alum Mel B, reality star Zara McDermott, and the First Lady of Ukraine, Olena Zelenska, in addition to Queen Mathilde of Belgium, the First Lady of Sierra Leone, as well as the Countess of Wessex. Camilla said in her speech that, quote, we are uniting today to confront rightly what has rightly been called a global pandemic of violence against women. Adding, over the years in my previous role, I had the privilege of meeting many survivors of rape and domestic abuse and of sharing in the sorrow of people who had lost family members to violence. And again and again, I heard that two of the most powerful ways in which to help were to remember and to listen. Queen Camilla's primary public work has been supporting rape, domestic violence, and sexual abuse victims. And she definitely touched on that during her heartfelt speech. The palace reception comes as she and her husband, King Charles, are continuing to settle into their new royal roles. Charles became king when his mother, Queen Elizabeth, died on September 8th. On that same day, Camilla also became queen consort. The 74-year-old royal was formally proclaimed king by the Accession Council on September 9th. In October, Buckingham Palace confirmed King Charles's coronation will be on May 6, 2023, at Westminster Abbey in London. Camilla will also be crowned during the ceremony. Following Queen Elizabeth's death, Access Hollywood spoke to DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston, and she broke down the new line of succession. As soon as the Queen passed away, Charles, as the official successor, became the King. Now, it was revealed not too long after her death that he will not change his name. That is an option that new monarchs have. However, Charles will keep his name and he will be King Charles III. As soon as the Queen passed away, he became the King. Now, obviously, there will need to be an official coronation, but that will not happen for several months to come because the key priority right now is honoring and celebrating the legacy of Her Majesty, and no one wants to jump the gun with the coronation proceedings before that is allowed to take place. And it's obviously an incredibly difficult time for Charles right now because, yes, he is now the king, and he has ascended officially to the throne, but he is also a son who is mourning his mother, and that must be an unbelievably difficult set of emotions to balance. The reason that everyone was gathered was quite simply so that they could pay their respects and say goodbye to the matriarch of their family. Yes, we are used to seeing the royal family as the monarchy, as quote unquote the firm, but in the hours leading up to the queen's death, they were first and foremost a family, and what we saw today with all of the members of her immediate family arriving in Scotland was a grandchild, a son, a daughter, arriving in order to be by the queen's side as she passed away. So Prince Charles is now King Charles III. His wife, Camilla, is the queen consort. Prince William remains Prince William. However, he is now the official successor to the throne. And should Prince Charles pass away, should Prince Charles abdicate, which we do not think is something that will happen, Prince William will become King William.